Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me I have Jen. Jen is 42 years old, she works in a lab, does a lot of fine motor activity, right? Lots of squeezing, gripping, grasping, and sometimes the ergonomic position is not great. She comes in today complaining of a lot of neck pain on the left side. She's complaining of a lot of elbow pain on the outside some numbness and tingling on her fourth and fifth fingers okay this has been to a point where you're having a hard time gripping and grasping right so doing your daily activities you know fixing your hair doing things like that even that has been painful yes right okay so she's been taking some ibuprofen that's kind of bothering her stomach but it doesn't really make a big difference because she's just so irritated and inflamed so the first thing i want to think about here is is this coming from her neck, okay, and radiating down her arm? So the first thing I did was I tested her reflexes. So I did her C7, C6, C5. They look equal on both sides. I've tested her sensation all the way up the uh, upper extremity. She is equal on both sides, so I'm not suspicious that she has any sort of radiculopathy going on here. I then tested her strength, but I couldn't do a good job testing her strength because she had a lot of elbow pain. So I'm going to kind of take that out of the picture in regards to her cervical spine clearing. I then did a cervical spine compression test, pushed down, did not reproduce her discomfort. I did a Spurling's test to check if this would give her radiating pain down the arm and it does not. But it does give her pain in the lateral side, the back side of her neck. Um, and she also has a lot of tenderness to touch in these muscles back here. So a lot of muscular discomfort and postural pain but nothing sent pain down the arm. When I give her a little bit of traction, everything around the neck feels better, but her elbow did not feel better. So I think we have two different problems going on here. I think we have some muscular discomfort in the neck, her facets are bothering her, the joints in her neck, but when it comes down to the arm, I then take a look at her arm and I take her through some motion. The elbow is quite painful, sorry. I then do a Cozen's test where I have her hold the hand up like this and I give her a little bit of resistance and I'm not even going to do it because it's so painful and that hurts. I then take her into a Mills position where I just straighten out the elbow a little bit and bring the wrist down. That causes pain up and through here. She's extremely tender on the bone and the extensor carpi musculature here, so tender in here. And the big one that always gives away tennis elbow, in my opinion, is straightening out the arm and squeezing out in this position. So she's probably putting a pound of squeeze on my hand right now, and that hurts, doesn't it? So all of those things are looking like she has tennis elbow. And um, now the tennis elbow would not cause tingling in these two fingers and we ruled out that it was not her neck uh, because she had good reflexes, good sensation and when I moved her neck it did not take care of the tingling in this elbow. So we're just going to kind of flip her over this way and we're going to go to her cubital tunnel over here. Okay, so if we give her a tiny little tap, it doesn't take much and she gets this zinging right mm -hmm. down into this area here um, and discomfort right in that area. So I palpate her and I feel like it's kind of thickened over that ulnar nerve. And so she probably has a little bit of swelling, some inflammation, possibly even a little bit of scar tissue in there, causing this cubital tunnel syndrome coming down into this area. So I also assessed if she was having any ulnar nerve issues at the Guyon's Canal, and she is not. I've assessed if she has carpal tunnel and she does not. So when I do this, nothing going into the hand. Um, and I tried to do a phalanx with her, but I can't because that agitates the lateral side of the arm. So I think we have a couple things going on. I think we have some postural issues up here. We have cubital tunnel syndrome here. And we also have lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. So how do we treat this? I have different videos with different uh, ways of taking care of this and using a tennis elbow strap has been helpful for her. So we're gonna ever continue doing that, especially when she's really active. We're gonna put her into a sleeve that has a big cushion here called the heel bow to protect that elbow for whenever it is touching something like the edge of a counter or um, maybe a console when she's driving or anything like that. And so we're gonna protect that area. We're gonna get her into a comprehensive physical therapy program to work on stretching out her chest, strengthening out the muscles in the back, 
and uh, ultimately getting her on a re-strengthening program for this arm and avoiding activities that cause irritation to that nerve. So it's going to be a very comprehensive program which I could not put through in this video. But I have many other videos that talk about how to manage these different problems. So um, I hope you liked today's video. I know there's a lot going on here. Jen, thank you so much for being my patient mm -hmm. today and being patient with me. And uh, if you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.